Good day everyone. Today uh, I find myself in Malkos Strand and I'm here at what my kids call the Purple House where they would normally buy an ice cream or a burger on days when we uh, come out here for the kids to just have some fun at the sea. And in the background uh, you will see Kuburg Nuclear Power Station. Now I'm sorry if the wind bothers you today. But if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and click the bell icon. But I wanted to come out here for you to actually see Kuburg while I'm speaking. And what you'll see mainly in the picture are two large containment buildings, one for Unit 1 and one for Unit 2 reactors. And those buildings are one meter thick concrete. And on the inside of that one meter thick concrete, there's a steel liner that is one centimeter thick welded to the inside of the building and around that building are cables that are tensioned like a bird cage like the cage of a canary a round domed canary cage that is tightened and tensioned down so that that building is actually relaxed and not stressed when it's under 500 kilopascals of pressure and the other thing that is interesting about that building is the fact that it can withstand the impact of a jet line and hitting it. It was designed for that. Now, recently Kuburg has been in the news and uh, someone at Kuburg, there was apparently someone that was now uh, leaking news to the outside, had leaked news that has been public knowledge for a very, very long time. That uh, concrete structures, that they get cracks, that some of the, the steel in that concrete stu structure can be affected by rust and Kuburg's been aware of this for years and has been doing work on the, the, the seawater pump house for a very long period of time as well as the containment buildings as well as the fuel buildings this is not new news this is old news to anyone that works at Kuburg this is not top secret everyone at Kuburg knows about it the Kuburg management is very open to everyone that works there about projects like that and these projects have been ongoing and the Kubrick Alert Alliance uh, has been making sensation about something that's not based in science and the mainstream media like to put years out there and I just want to put the record straight so that people understand how things actually work those containment buildings in the background are tested up to a pressure of 20 bar now when that pressure test is done, you can actually measure the deflection of containment to see how much the concrete actually moves and it can move up to a few millimeters and this is measured by cables that run all the top from the top of the containment building right down to the bottom and they run in between measurement scales where you can have sliders and there's actually actual readings on those very primitive uh, straightforward cable with the weight at the bottom hanging down and then you can measure the deflection of the building and these measurement programs are ongoing so this, the civil structures at Kuburg are monitored by departments by top-notch engineers and these engineers then can determine if there's any threat to the leak tightness of the containment building and this is the main thing now after I've described to you how the containment building is designed you should understand that these pressure tests are done to make sure that it's leak tight and then it's its, its main function. And no crack on the outside or sculfering or anything like that is going to stop the integrity of that bowling because of the way that it's designed. You know, a person might not expect that something will get uh, corrosion, uh, cracking and delamination because of the reinforced steel that's used on the inside of, of the concrete actually getting some sea air and the sea air around Kuburg is extremely extremely hectic in causing corrosion to any metals even aluminium rusted white dust at Kuburg nuclear power station but to say that this is new news is an absolute lie it's actually sad when things like that happens because it's important that every bit of news that the mainstream media puts out there that it should be based on fact and Kuburg put out a public statement it's not really necessary to do something like that when the facts have been public for a very long time the NNR knows about everything that happens at Kuburg and structural integrity is one of those things the containment integrity is one of those things and this is why every 10 years 
uh, uh, that 20 bar pressure test is done which is way above and beyond design capacity it's four times higher and this is a good thing that it's actually pressure tested to that kind of pressure so many people are saying Kubrick should not go beyond its years because of a crack in containment you have to explain that crack relevant to what is actually part of the design uh, a crack even if it runs right around the containment dome right at the top is not a threat to the integrity of that containment and is not a threat to radiation leakage as this is tested to see if containment is leak tight now when containment in the worst case scenario of the reactor coolant system uh, having a break and all that water escaping and flashing to steam would build up to a pressure of 500 kPa but as I've said before containment is tested to four times that to a pressure of literally 20 bar and that is extremely high so the normal five bar pressure that it would go to in an accident this is four times higher it successfully passed those tests and this is important that the public knows this and understand that within that context so the Kubrick Alert Alliance it's, it's important for you and I'm speaking to you now to understand facts and not to fear mongering if there's anything to fear then uh, the people at Kubrick will fear it first they will speak to whoever uh, needs to know about it and try and solve the problem if the problem cannot be solved the plant will be shut down and this is basically how the Kubrick nuclear safety culture operates now I'm not working at Kubrick I'm not receiving funds from them I just want to state plain and simple facts I hope you've enjoyed watching this video please remember to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon and even if you hate nuclear energy that is fine I just want to state facts around the design of that building and some of the news that has been put out there in mainstream media I want to give you the facts so that you can make proper decisions and if you want any more information you can just leave a comment and then I will give you specific information with regards to that but just remember this is not breaking news this is nothing new uh, you know there's so many things that I can tell the public that they might not be privy to and it doesn't mean that it's not news to many uh, that it's uh, not news to many other people that many people know about certain things that's not public knowledge and this is normal um, everyone cannot know everything so thank you for very much for watching this video and thank you to everyone that is contributing towards his work uh, you can find the details in the Capitec uh, savings account the double day savings account uh, in the description below this video thank you for watching and hopefully you learn from this and you'll be able to make it an informed decision uh, so that you know that you don't need to exit uh, Cape Town or run for the hills or anything like that as many people might think or say so Kubrick, uh, the integrity of containment is good it's tested uh, I've been a part of those tests and I can tell you that the people doing the test that they are good people they are intelligent people and they will make conservative decisions with regards to nuclear safety thank you very much till the next video